Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. We are in the Realms server on uh, Chihuahua land. Ah, let's see how the animals are doing. Hi cows. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, today is Monday, um, February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. Uh, I have the day off. Uh, G is at work and the only reason I'm here is because I wanted to show you something that kind of transpired between episodes we were wandering around through caves and we found a another spawner it's pretty cool skeleton spawner which is kind of ideal given that uh, the main thing that G wants out of this right now is a dog and we need bones we probably have enough bones to get a dog at the moment uh, but we are a little bit tight and we lost some bones when she had all of them in her pocket and hopped into a lava pool accidentally of course she did not mean to do that so anyway we have this uh, spider spawner which I think I showed what I did to sort of turn it into an XP farm and we were lighting up clay caves nearby because I was wandering around and hearing noises and I found a stash of mobs in an area of cave nearby that was uh, not lit up so we went around and lit up things and uh, I'll show you what we found A water pool near some nearby somewhere here so this uh this is a mine shaft that g was working on it came out into this so i just put this on here so that mobs can't get through i don't think the baby zombies can get through here maybe they can i'm not sure but we have things pretty well lit up so this little path up here put in slabs so that we can walk up without jumping um lava there so this is a spider spawner don't have any glowstone yet we have like three glowstone dust so I don't have enough to make redstone lamps we are going to have to go to the nether for that but if I knock out these four torches the spiders start to spawn I've got this slabbed up some nuts so we can leave this unlit and nothing can spawn out here so we can just stand in the doorway here and bash on the spiders spooky sounds gets us lots of spider eyes and string and then we did this little uh, we didn't get to it this direction we went back down around there and around the caves but down here we found the skeleton spawner so it's super close the spider spawner is right there and the skeleton spawner is right here and uh, so yeah skeleton spawner so I've dug out the spawning area wrapped it in stone bricks of course and so this is I put water along here we'll push, we'll push all the skeletons down here into this trench put water here which we'll push the skeletons up to here boop and then i'm thinking put cactus here and a hopper going underneath the sand underneath the cactus and up to a elevator that goes there this is temporary so that I have a place where I can actually get out while I'm working on it and then the uh, item elevator which I'm going to do I'm not going to do like a glass elevator because that's just going to break when 1.9 comes out so I'm going to do just a, a hopper a dropper elevator which means I need a comparator which means I need nether quartz which means we need to go to the nether and then that hopper that elevator you know the dropper elevator will pop up here and so we'll have a chest here where all the uh, skeleton residue comes up and we have a little obsidian here so that's uh so my next step 
because we haven't been yet and G has never been there um, is to go to the nether so I have a couple really really good uh, picks here that I've developed I've got some nice armor um, so I've been mostly grinding for resources because I want enough diamonds to make up some diamond armor and start getting that enchanted but that takes a little bit of energy and it takes diamonds and now that there's two of us playing on the server or with two of us on the server I should say the level at which I'm comfortable starting to craft diamond armor uh, changes a bit we need more diamonds than uh, than we have we have a good amount we could make I think we have enough that we could make diamond armor for the both of us no problem um, but if we lost some of it then we'd be pretty tight on diamonds so I think we have I think we have something like nine blocks of diamonds so it's 81 that's enough but I, I play a little bit more conservatively <laughs> than than G does she's like go oh, it's dark outside let's go hunt skeletons she likes going out and shooting at skeletons so she needs to practice and that's good um, so that's fine um, so we kind of balance each other out which is kind of the kind of the the point so I'm mining down over that way and uh, uh, oh one other thing to show you and I will uh, I think cut once I get over there all right hello everybody uh, so, so I'm up here on top of this mountain. We have these this small little mountain range here with snow on top of it. I figured, hey, might be might be enough to free some water. It is extreme hills, so I built a small ice farm. Um, I was thinking I would need it for the skeletons for the skeleton farm, but no, I don't uh, because I had forgotten, as I think a lot of people do, that mobs being pushed by water don't move any more quickly over ice than they do over any other material uh, items do so if you're doing an item transport that's fine but mobs themselves don't so oh it's snowing it's snowing well let's see if I can get a good shot of let's see good frame grab here that'll work oh it's so pretty um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is the ice farm. Built a little ice, uh, boop. Ice, uh, infinite ice, infinite water source, sorry, goodness. And, uh, so I have some ice now. Figured since I had a silk touch pick, I may as well. I wonder what happens this might be worth doing some uh, some testing if there's items in a water source block that freezes what happens to the items we can test that right because like if if I punch out some let's see here Actually, no, throw throw that back in. Oh no, there we go. And then I've got some water, which will eventually freeze. It's interesting, the water tilts like this because it's like it's trying to flow out over here. So if I placed a block here, I bet that water would flatten out. I wonder if, I wonder if that will affect the freezing. It's Minecraft science. So we have more freezing going on over here already. Boop. This guy will freeze up. Both of these. I think this guy will. I wonder if, since it's trying to flow, I wonder if it does. It does seem safe up here at night in the dark. Um, I've spent a few nights up here. I didn't put a bed. And you can see the heart that G made for me for Valentine's Day, which is very cute. It's very sweet. I 3D printed uh, a flower for her, a daisy. She likes daisies. And I found a, a daisy design. It's very cute. Oops. 
Oh. Interesting. So it popped up out of it popped up out of the ice. So when the ice froze, it popped up. Oh, I wonder if that's a mechanic that can be used in some way. I say time delayed item elevator. So if you don't get to the ice right away when you break it out of there and you don't have hoppers underneath, I wonder. Let's see if this guy freezes before that item despawns. I like the snow. It's very pretty. Oh, yep. Yeah. The item pops up. Interesting. So when water freezes, it becomes a solid block, and any items, any blocks inside it, then do what, the, what blocks normally do, which is push up to the surface. And you can't get a whole column of water to freeze. Only the top block will freeze. So I don't know how you could use that as an elevator, but that's kind of interesting. I wonder if there's, there must be something to that as a mechanic that could be used for something. Oh. Let's get my water back. Okay, well. So anyway, just wanted to give you that little update. Not really doing much else. I will see if we can find some time to record um, this week. I think we're ready to go into the nether. Which is going to be interesting because it's uh, the nether can be stressful as I'm sure you know. But I think, uh, I think she's ready and we need some stuff from the nether. We need blaze rods and we need quartz and glowstone because I would like to make that spider farm um, I would like to make it so that it lights up on demand so you don't have to actually wander in there to take out the torches or put the torches back in. And then at some point I'd like to get to the end so that I can get some ender pearls. We have I think three ender pearls at the moment just from killing random endermen. But it would be nice to be able to just pitch an ender pearl down there and get fairly close to home. You can see the pits there for the animals. Again, the, the heart. Uh, our house is inside this. Uh, that's actually part of it right there. You can see the glass. This is our storage room. So we'll... Uh, it would be nice to be able to get down there. I have I put ladders on the side of the mountain here. So that... I think it's right here. Yep. I put ladders. So that... Oh, wow. So that you can... Uh, so make it easy to get up here. Oh, that's cool. On the edge of the biome, you got rain and snow. And it looks like the rain is melting the snow, which is appropriate. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for watching. It's just a little update. We'll, we will... Uh, at, the point, at this point, I haven't actually posted... Uh, our dog hunting episode yet um, so I need to edit that and get it posted so this is probably even though I'm telling you this is Monday the 15th you probably won't see this for a week after that maybe <laughs> uh, just because I have content to put up that I haven't done so yet I've got an episode of this a couple episodes of this for us running around looking for a dog I've got a uh, an episode of progress update on the RPM challenge record. I've got, I think, an episode of Minecraft, uh, the snapshot tour to post. So I've got like three or four episodes that I have to cut together and start posting, which I will do as soon as I can. I don't want to get too much of a backlog, but I also don't want to be, don't necessarily want to be posting too much. There we go. Let 
Nice. Oh, he didn't drop squat. Which is fine. I don't need more zombie flesh. Also, we found an, a village, which I think we saw. I think we were recording. Um, the village is off over that direction, I think. So, uh, I've got some villagers that had trapped into their houses. Which is not super polite, but at least they'll be alive. And we can figure out what to do. I want to build a little villager trading center. And, well, that's pretty. Sunset over the snow. Uh, build a little villager trading center. And I think a lot of our lag issues, like I'm doing fine up here. But when I'm down at the house, my network connection is, that my pings are very poor. Um, so, I think a lot of that has to do with the animals. Even though we tried to thin them out a bit, it's uh, it's still a problem. So I may want to move the farm elsewhere. Oops, ouch. Uh, move the farm away from the house a bit. So we can make it a little bigger. And uh, yeah, and then we can, uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'll put in some rails to get to the to the ice farm there. Maybe rails to get to the um, to get to the farm. Who knows? We could spread out a little bit. It's a big it's a big world. So that's it. Collect our uh, our melons, which we found in that jungle. Still need to find pumpkins. Have not found pumpkins yet. Pumpkins would be helpful. And, but anyway, there you go. Um, so I will leave it off here. And next time we will probably be going to the nether or hopefully finding a dog. Either one. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, everybody. Sorry. One last, uh, one last little update. We had a little uh, thing while I was playing sort of off camera last night. And uh, our little nephew Star Trek came on and he was starving. He didn't have any food. So he came in and he, he, he took some food out of, out of one of our chests without asking, which isn't polite. Um, but of course I would have given him food. But uh, I just want to make sure that... So he felt all bad about that. I was probably a little hard on him for taking the food. But... Um, so what I'm doing is I'm I'm cooking up some potatoes. We have plenty of we have plenty of food. Oops. So I made a little chest here, right up front, food and supplies for guests. So we'll put a little stuff in there, and as we have, uh, if we have any cast off armor, um, so I put a sword and stone pick and some stuff for enchanting and some just blocks, and we'll put some food in there and some miscellaneous stuff, so that if he or anybody else comes around and is in desperate need for food or some or some uh, weapons or some tools that they can find them in the chest and they don't have to either ask you know beg for stuff or uh, rummage through our stuff and take without asking so so there we go just wanted to show you that little update I thought that was a that was a good thing to do nice nice uh, little thing to do so that uh, there's a place for him to come get food when he comes on because he hasn't built a, a base or anything he did come over here and after he took some potatoes raw potatoes and was eating them he came over here and he planted some and made a little potato farm which was cute um, I don't know where he got the wood to make the hoe <laughs> he may have taken it from our chests <laughs> which is fine whatever um, but yeah Oh, I like how the top of the mountain glows now that I got a few torches up there. So, hey zombies. Nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, just just a little update. And uh, that's it. And I'll see you, see you in the next episode. Bye.